Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to warp text in Adobe Photoshop Elements. So the warp text option will allow you to do a variety of different things to your text, you know, kind of add some kind of effects to it or some flair, if you will. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your text layer is selected if you have more than one layer here. Because if you don't and you go to the layer menu and you go to type, it's going to be grayed out. So make sure that text layer is selected, go to the layer menu, type, and then warp text. So now the default is none. And now if you click on it, you'll have a variety of options such as arc. And then while you're in that option, you could play with the settings. So this is the arc. Or you could do the arc upper. Let me put this back to zero here. So it's not much as much of as as much of an arc as the first arc here. And of course you got arc lower, and you could adjust the bend. Then there's arch, which is similar to arc, but in like a wider view, I guess you could say. And then you could also you know, change it to vertical if you want to bend it that way. Then we have the bulge option. Which kind of makes it makes it bulge out, and you could change which side of it you want to bulge. Shell lower kind of gives it a I don't know how you'd quite describe that, but <laughs> it's kind of an interesting setting. I just cancel and go back in here and reset it. Shell upper. And you can look at that shell lower again now that we have a reset. So you kind of see it matches the little icon there. The flag, and you could change the wave on it if you want to do that. And the bend, of course. Wave, which is similar. Fish. Makes kind of a fish looking text. Rise. Kind of makes it rise off to the side, you know, either direction. Fish eye, which is kind of an interesting one. Kind of give it a bulge there. Inflate, which is similar. Squeeze, which will kind of condense it. And then finally, the twist option. So like I say, it's, you know, once you go select your text and go into these options, you could just pick which one you want and then play with the settings before you apply it. And, you know, you could do some of them have horizontal and vertical and that kind of thing. And if it's grayed out, it means it doesn't have an option to change horizontal and vertical. So once you have your option there, you could just click OK. Let's say you're getting something like that. And there you go. And then you move it around and you could spin it around and stuff too. And it's going to keep the uh, the shape like that. And if you ever need to change it back, just go back into layer, type, and change it back to none. And then your text is back to normal. All right, so that's just a quick overview of all the warp text options you have in Photoshop Elements in case you didn't know they were there or didn't or wanted to see what each one of them did. So... Give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.